Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is the first video I've uploaded since I moved, so my setup and the coloring of my camera looks a little bit funky, I will say that right off the bat. Um, this is actually a brand new desk, it's a drafting table, so my setup is a little bit weird. It's a little bit messed up, I would say. Um, like my light is in the wrong place. There are lots of things that I need to fix and change. Um, and the most annoying thing that I need to fix and change is that shift where my where when my hand goes on the screen all of a sudden it gets a lot lighter. It's really annoying and it bothers me and there's no way to like really fix it in post. So I need to remember to fix that. But here I am trying to get my camera to focus. Um, it doesn't want to focus for some reason. I haven't used it in a while. Um, so I think that was part of the reason why I had some trouble focusing. But you guys just got to see an overview of my pans. So so all of my paints are core watercolors, Q-O-R, core watercolors, um, and they're made by a brand called Golden. They come in tubes. They do come in pans, but all of my colors have been tubes originally. I have all the tubes for all of them to refill my pans. Um, and I put them into pans myself, poured them myself, and put them into a Meaden watercolor tin. I will link both Core and Meaden, or Core and my watercolor tin down below. But now we're just kind of going through and swatching all of the colors that I have. Um, so you'll kind of see in this palette, there are a lot of cool colors, and that's because at the moment I am very much more attracted I guess to cool colors. Um, I wouldn't say that I buy watercolors correctly if there is a correct way to do it. Um, I kind of buy the colors that I want to play with and that I want to use and that I want to like mess around with instead of colors that might work well together or colors that um, might be better for like a certain style of painting. I have no idea what style of painting I like yet. Um, I do definitely like abstract. You can kind of see that in my portfolio on my website, which is linked below um, in the in the bottom part where I put all my social links. You can see my website and my portfolio and everything. Um, you can kind of see that I like abstract and like kind of seeing how colors run with each other and watching them like interact with each other. But this whole middle row is all like blues and purples and greens and all these like nice cool colors. Um, just because those are what I've been really, really into lately. And I like watching them kind of like interact and play and blend with each other. Um, so that's kind of how I've gone about picking. Um, I did originally start, those are two different colors, by the way. This is me double checking to see if they're two different colors, but they're two different colors. Um, but I did initially start with a 24 set, um, which I will have below, of course. Um, the, that was a, they're like mini tubes. They come with, um, I think they're like five milliliter tubes. Um, and I haven't refilled any of them yet. I do need to pick up some refills, but I'm kind of trying to get through the whole moving process before I go out and buy more paints, um, no matter how much I want to. Um, but that was definitely a good set to start off with. As you can see, I have a lot of blues. I really like, I really like blues and I really like mixing greens with blues. It's like kind of weird. Um, I don't really, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of any of the greens that I have at the moment. Um, I tried to adjust the colors to match as well as I possibly could, but they're obviously like, they're not perfect. They're not even close to being like exactly the same, at least on my screen and every screen is different. So I'm sure that it shows up funky on other people's screens. Um, but yeah, I tried to get the colors to match and they're like, there are greens that I do like, but there are also greens that you have to mix that I really, really love. Um, and I, I'll kind of show you guys towards the end, um, just a little bit of like the kind of playing and stuff that, um, uh, th for, yeah, I'll, I'll show at the very end, just playing around with some of the colors and mixing them together and stuff. Um, but yeah, I cannot remember what I was talking about already. Oh, that I don't really like, um, the greens too much. I do like in the beginning, um, in the beginning of this row, those second and third colors, I do like those kind of like tealy green kind of colors, but like the actual greens, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh color on the third row, that yellowy greenish color is my absolute favorite color. It's green gold by Core. Um, and then that last color I believe is Mars 
orange or Mars brown, um, one or the other. And that is another new color that I picked up that I absolutely love. Um, it's like weird. I like weird colors. <laughs> that Mars orange though, if you water it down a lot um, and you kind of cool it down just a very, very little bit with a little bit of blue or Payne's gray, it turns into like a really nice skin tone <laughs> and I suck at mixing skin tones. So that was like, I saw it when I saw that on Core's website, I was like, I need that one. Um, but here I'm going through and I'm blending three colors together that I just kind of picked. I picked them really randomly. Um, all of these swatches are like as saturated as I could get the colors really um, in like one pass. So I wanted to kind of pastel or water down I wanted to water down some of the colors to make them a little bit more pastel so you could kind of see because Core is very well known for their colors being super vibrant, but if you water them down they also can be very very nice and pale and soft and I really really like that you get this like huge range with pretty much every single color. Um, and then in the extra little space you'll see in a second, that color is Terra Vert. I should never have purchased that color. I think it's a beautiful color and I really like it, um, but that's like the only reason that I bought it. It's a color that I had to go into one of my watercolor Facebook groups and be like, this color doesn't show up at all. What are you supposed to use this for? And everybody was like, you're supposed to use it for plants obviously it's like a very nice earthy pale green color and it's really really lovely um but people also said that they used it for like shadows and things and I really liked that kind of aspect of using it so I think I will I, I like the idea of using it for like shadows and things but here on this swatch the second swatch that I'm doing of it um I'm literally trying to get it as dark as possible I'm like scrubbing my brush into the pan I'm trying to like get it to like pull up as much as possible to kind of try and get it to be like super super dark and I don't even in the end I don't really like it super super dark I kind of like how like pale it is and it's like purest form I guess but <laughs> anyways we're getting close to the end of this video so I'm going to wrap it up there are many many more videos to come I'm trying to upload three days a week I am trying to grind with some editing because I'm starting classes this week so I will have had a whole week of classes by the time this video goes up um, and yeah so <laughs> we'll see how that went and everything and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye